Hey YouTube, Tech Intimidation here. Today we're going to talk about adding a medical ID to your iPhone, which I think would be very useful in two situations. A, you either lose your phone, or B, you're injured and someone comes upon you and tries to use your phone to identify you. So this feature, the medical ID, is accessible from your lock screen by hitting the emergency but button in the lower left. The medical ID is in the bottom left here, and you can add information that you can have your name, you can even have a photo, medical, medical conditions, notes, allergies, medications, your weight and your height, and you can even add emergency contacts such as your spouse, your mother, father, brother, anybody, that they can then dial with your phone without even having to unlock it. Let's see how to actually add this to your phone. So I'm going to unlock my phone here. If you go to the health app, and I have it under an Apple folder, health app, and then at the bottom there's the dashboard, health data, sources, and on the bottom right is the medical ID. If you click edit on the top, you can choose whether or not this shows when your phone is locked, and basically by disabling that you're disabling the whole feature but you need to have that unlocked. You can add a photo, your name, your birth date, any conditions, notes, allergies, or medications. You can add an emergency contact from your contact list, and you can add more than one. Uh, and again, these numbers will be able to be dialed from the emergency section on your phone without even having to unlock the phone. Uh, you can also add your blood type, whether or not you're an organ donor, your weight and your height. Um, so yeah, if you lost your phone, they could use the emergency medical ID to identify whose phone it is pretty quickly and then potentially contact someone to return your phone to you. And again, the other circumstance would be that if you were injured or in a car accident or something where someone comes upon you and is just trying to identify you or trying to get more information about you, with this on your phone, they would actually have a way to do that. One bad thing is that then if someone gets your phone, they have access to some information about you, like your birth date, um, your height, your weight, all kinds of stuff that you may or may not want them to know. I think that the benefits of this greatly outweigh the um, potential downsides and I'm actually going to add this to my phone today. So that's how you do it. Thanks for watching. And leave any comments in the comment section about if you think this is a good idea or not. Or if there's another way that Apple could do this that would be a lot better.